All right, take two, everybody. <laughs> All right, everybody, welcome. You might be wondering, what the hell's going on? I thought Sean was already uploading stuff for Infamous. I am. I'm the evil playthrough. <laughs> um, but due to audio issues with uh, Sonic Adventure, uh, we have to do that entire thing over again. So to entertain you guys, and for people that don't really care for the whole being evil thing, and I totally get that, I'm gonna we're doing a good run through, but just so it doesn't get really redundant and boring, <laughs> I got another commentator with me. Introduce yourself, my friend. My name is Brandon. You may recognize me from a video that's already uploaded at yeah. this point. Mario and Sonic at the Winter Olympic Games. We were gonna do a dream hockey for you. That's not happening until the future. It's not for some it's, strange. It, it's because of the. It's because I have to unlock we that have to again. Unlock it. But anyway, we, we well, you're gonna, well, you're gonna be playing a real game. Well, well, yeah. well, we're gonna be. Well, you're gonna watch me play a real I'm game. I'm gonna watch you. <laughs> yeah, don't. Yeah, we'll be here forever. If I yeah, was playing. yeah. Seriously. Anyway, without further ado, let's get this shit started, and hopefully nothing gets messed up. You ready? Let's go. I hope the Elgato's ready. <laughs> okay. We're up. So far, so good. You can talk during this. We've already, we've already like blown up people's ears several times. I just noticed. No, it's fine. I've actually learned that it's actually not that bad. Yeah, same here. I was I was watching it our, our video, and when I went like, yeah, it doesn't yeah it, it doesn't, doesn't it bad. doesn't even hurt the ears, so it's fine. Oh shit! <laughs> Imagine that that shit Ow. was in 3D. <laughs> that would hurt. <laughs> oh. Activation plus six minutes. Pulse is 45. Respiration 10. Looking good, Cole. Oh, that hangover. <laughs> the most rad party ever. <laughs> oh, God. Holy Man, that was some party last night. Yeah, holy crap. Jesus. Looks like Oakland. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hello. Right in front of you. Hey, you! In the garage! My car's parked in there! No! <laughs> there that, the was, that was my car! <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not his car. Alright, so this is our main protagonist, Cole McGrath, as you guys know. I'm telling Brandon that. Holy shit! Well, I, know, I, I knew who Cole McGrath was. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've seen the... You've seen the gameplay I've footage. I've seen the evil playthrough you did. And I've seen the game before. It's Zeke talking to you. Yeah. Zeke. It's like his best friend. It is his best friend. I think there was an explosion. No oh, shit, there was an explosion. The TV says terrorists are pulling stuff up all over the city. Meet me at the Fremont Bridge. We'll get Trish and find some place to hunker down. I'll see you there. Yeah, I stopped there because that. Sometimes if you go to this right away, it'll cancel out the dialogue. So I wanted to show it off. Uh. Yeah, I've oh, seen, no! <laughs> I've seen some of those airs you had with Zeke on the last... Yeah, on Festival video. of Blood. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. No, that was actually legitimately the game's fault. Like, it was glitching out for me at that part in time, and it just would not... Do the sort of... So does my other car. <laughs> Cole doesn't have a car. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> I hope these people have good insurance. Dude, I would, I would say screw my insurance at this point. Holy <laughs> crap, this is... Oh no! <laughs> Ow. That's gotta hurt. Ah, we're fine. Aw, oh, really? Oh. oh well. It's time to go do some parkour! I must say, Cole is still walking around pretty good for a guy that just went through an explosion. Don't you think? Very good. Yeah, holy crap. Oh, my car! And my light bulbs. <laughs> Something completely badass. <laughs> Cole, I sense a good future. <laughs> I'm being legitimately serious, because this is the hero playthrough. <laughs> Which Brandon is kind of disappointed with. <laughs> yeah, because I'm not much of a hero kind of guy. Yeah, you are. One more of that. In, re in, real li in real life, you would be, I think. Maybe. We gotta leave, man! We gotta more of the anti- like, anti-authority, rebellious kind of guy. Yeah. But you wouldn't, like... Like... Screw someone over for no reason, I right? Kill anyone, no, man. no. Holy shit! Damn. I love how they're just standing there. You see that? Mm -hmm. Oh my god! By the way, we don't get that power until the very end of the game. 
I know. If we had that ability from the beginning of the game, it'd be kind of broken. <laughs> Shut up, Zeke! <laughs> oh shit, we died. Yeah, that's it, Damn. game over. <laughs> well, well, that was the game, everybody. We I hope, hope, we you, hope, enjoyed we hope you enjoyed the infamous Let's Play. <laughs> Yes, if you're evil, you live. If you're good, you die. Wait, what? <laughs> That'd be so stupid. I know. <laughs> it's like, now, play evil, bitch. <laughs> anyway, here comes cutscene. While sliding into unconsciousness, I could somehow, I don't know, hear the voices of the dying. Thousands crushed by falling buildings or burned alive in the fires. Trish lost her sister. Almost lost me. Zeke was always there, somehow sure that I'd wake up while outside the city fell apart. A plague struck, followed by rioting, theft, rapes, civilization committing suicide. In a bullshit attempt to contain the biological threat, the federal government locked down all access in and out of the city, and we were stuck in this cage with the psychos. Cops are all but gone off the streets, either dead or too chicken shit to stand against the gangs that control things now. Outside, things were bad. But inside, inside me, something was beginning. Scary as hell at first. You gotta understand, there was no one to talk to, no experts to consult. But with time, I'm learning to control it, master it. Just hope it's not too late. Infamous. <laughs> anyway, we'll explain more of like uh, what we'll be doing for those of you that have not seen our uh, my evil playthrough. So just to let you guys know, evil playthrough is me by myself. Good playthrough will be with Brandon throughout the entire time. So if one commentator is more your thing, then uh, go watch that. If you want two commentators, you get this. So I thought you were gonna watch two commentators. One microphone. We'll make it work. Uh, you mind putting on a freak show? Sure. I'm glad it's good for something. Probably need to charge them all. TV's a hog. <laughs> all right. All righty. So this is our little training stage here, Brandon. Uh, so, you know, we got to zap in the generator, make sure it works. Because <laughs> this... Look how many TVs he has. You see that crap? How many do we need? Uh, no, since, well, since well, Cole like was mastering his powers up on this roof, he might have killed the other TVs. True. That makes sense. So we gotta zap all these TV generators. Boob tubes are working. Weird. It feels like I got more power. Yeah. But try frying those dummies over there. With all the nutballs running around, it'd be nice to see how much juice you're packing. Yes, we get to finally live my dream of destroying department store dummies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think Zeke's enjoying this. He's enjoying this way too much. Yeah, dude, he's not even doing any of this stuff. I'm I got just sitting I, in here I, going like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got all of them, right? I think uh, so. I think so. Think I'm so. not sure. I. Oh, I yep, see. we got him. Yeah, okay, good. Uh oh. Look, it's a bird. It's a plane. Oh wait, no, it's a Jimmy a plan. <laughs> I mean, it, yeah, it's a plane. Dude, it wasn't that low. It wasn't that low. It was the Ah, uh, it's Zeke. Oh. Hey, he's a TV jacker. I love this guy. Oh, you'll hate this guy, Brandon. Drop some relief packages into Archer Square. The liars from the corporate media tell us that we're gonna get our fair share. The more is coming. That's easy for them to say. They're not the ones living in this hellhole. And the truth is that we've been abandoned. And no one's coming to save us. So That's what you think. <laughs> that guy sounds like the guy from Purge Anarchy. He's like this rebellious guy. In uh, it. I think this game came out before Purge well, Anarchy. Before, yeah, obviously. Get out of your mind. You think any of those pencil necks gives a crap about us? This is a PR stunt. That isn't going to stop you from pigging out, though, is it? <laughs> Hell no, it ain't. Zeke's, Zeke's got to eat. <laughs> I'm using the express elevator. Ah, oh, man. Get to have all the fun. Well, I have superpowers. You don't. And by express elevator, he means literally jumping off the roof. Yeah. <laughs> That's how badass he is. <laughs> Look at that. I jump off roofs all the time. What yeah, right. about? <laughs> Wish I could do something like that. Running down all those stairs. That sucks donkey balls. <laughs> hey, he ran him a bit, bit fast. 
Yeah, I have to give Z credit. He did run pretty fast. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I know some of you might not have watched the Evil playthrough because you guys aren't a fan of that, but uh, they talk for quite a bit, so we'll explain the game mechanics and we won't talk during the big important cutscenes coming up. So, uh, so like I said, the reason why we're doing this is mostly because Sonic Adventure is unfortunately experiencing audio issues. Um, so we need to get more uh, equipment to help compensate for that, uh, because this thing right here is good for, uh, our current mic is good for recording two people, but anything more than that is just not really that good for it. So, uh, that's why, so that's why it's alright if Brandon's here. Um, that, and you said you wanted to be part of, uh, just more normal games, right? Not just showdowns, right? Yeah, I wanted to be, I wanted to be part, like of part of real games. Channel, yeah, yeah you're, part, you're part of the channel. From Duffy's... And that, <laughs> you'll like you'll like this. Put up my hands. <laughs> you pissed all over him. But he told me to put up my hands. Oh my god, look at that person glitching. Did you see that? No, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, awesome. Until we run into a wall of cops. Like I said, awesome! <laughs> ah, bummer we won't be able to do anything like that again. Yeah, not unless some genius invents a car that doesn't explode when I sit in it. And that sucker punches excuse for you that this is not Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Thank God. No. no. We get superpowers. And I think that's better. <laughs> My opinion. We'll never find it. Alright, so it's time for the shockwave. Stand back, Zeke. Booyah! God, we keep destroying cars in this damn game. <laughs> not everyone has insurance. Yeah, man. Dude, we're in an apocalypse. Screw the... <laughs> I just grabbed a random gun. No, that gun was always under there, remember? Uh, he was talking about how he needs a new gun. Hang on a sec. Alright, so every time you use one of your more powerful abilities, like the shockwave and stuff like that, you need to get some electricity. So, find electric source, and you'll heal up. Boom. Man, you're a walking battery. You must have to recharge whenever you fire off a bunch of juice. I can feel the electricity surging through me. Almost like I'm being healed by it. Which means if you're getting hit and you need some health, go get some electricity. Pretty obvious. Well, yeah, it's. But you know what's so awesome about Cole's powers is that there's electricity everywhere, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's. Trish. Trish. Yeah, Zeke and me are heading over there. How are you feeling? Alright, I guess. Powers are all over the place. It used to be I could barely power a light bulb. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Person just launched themselves into the air. What were you thinking? Relax. I'm fine. Just take it easy. After what happened to Amy, I couldn't. Yeah. See you guys at Archer Square. I love you. You too. Aww. What a lucky guy. It'd be a shame if she acted like a bitch to us. <laughs> <coughs> Anyway, so now we're heading over to Archer Square to get some food. So what do you think of this game? I know we haven't really gotten into any action parts so far, but what do you think? What do you, do you like how this game looks? What do you... Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, I think you'll like this game. This game has a really good... Move! Yeah, move, asshole. You're lucky I'm not playing evil. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, this game's pretty fun. Are you got, Are you familiar with uh, the Assassin's Creed games? Yes, my like, brother plays them all the time. Uh, we're about to introduce... Uh, Something like that. You know how they go go parkouring and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, well, we do the same stuff here, so... You'll see what it means. So we gotta go get that food up there. So what do we do that? We go climb up these poles and stuff. And oh, these controls are... Yeah. This is pretty cool, and unlike the Assassin's Creed games, if you fall off from a really far height, you won't get hurt in the slightest. So I think that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, that's definitely awesome. And these controls are so damn good. Like, Cole will almost grab on it all the time, and, you don't, and it's pretty awesome. It's very streamlined. Actually, are, do you know about the uh, Sly Cooper games? Yes, I do. Uh, these The same people that made Sly Cooper made Infamous. Oh, wow. So, that's why, if you look closely at Cole's bag right there, it has the Sly Cooper emblem. You see that? Sort of, yeah. It's right... It's it's right there. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see yeah, it, it's like... It. Anyways, let's, let's, let's get moving on instead of distracting Sorry people. <laughs> I just wanted to show off that there's a Sly, there's a Sly Cooper stuff all over Sorry, this game. This is a First time I'm like really, really getting to see this game. Yeah. Oh, here's cutscene. So, Sean might. I got my first sight. The Reapers. Before the blast, they were just a bunch of junkies dealing drugs. Now they own the Neon District. 
taking whatever they want. That changes today. Damn right it does. <laughs> We're about to kick some ass. <laughs> All right, so as I was saying before the cutscene, Sean might jump in and explain some stuff just to me and not to you guys. So well, to them too, in case they well, didn't them, watch yeah. the evil playthrough. So anyway, we gotta defend, defeat these Reaper guys here. So what you did to the store dummies, we gotta do for the to for these, these guys. For these guys and pow. Damn. All right, you cannot hurt Zeke in the slightest because if you do. Game uh, over. Yeah, game over. He's in, well. He's really important to the plot. So True, yeah. It, and here we <laughs> have Cole electrocuting people to death. Yes. Bam, bam, punch bam. out. It gets way more satisfying in Infamous Two, where you actually get a weapon to wield. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, shock everyone to death. Shocking everyone and sending them flying. 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 To flying. Space. Everyone is flying. And here we have. Well, shocking more people. What else is new? All right, so that's so flying. that's it. And that's the end. All right, time. The oh, winner of all right, this. First, first Paul karmic. McGrath. All right, first karmic decision. Enough to feed the three of us for weeks, maybe longer. Bet if I fry a couple people in the crowd, the rest will run away. The food will be all ours, but some of these guys might starve. All right, so these are comic decisions, Brandon. You get the idea. Yeah. Either be a good guy or a villain. Like I said, already got an evil playthrough going up, so if you just stand here and let them take the food, that's a good karmic decision, so they'll all be good here, so gotta wait for a few seconds. Let's eat. Oh, I was about to zap him. <laughs> just all kidding. Right. All right, good evil action. Good evil action. Good evil action. <laughs> good evil action. Good evil action. <laughs> all right, so you're... Important, your karma. So, Brandon, for so pretty much what you do is like every time you, the more the higher rank up you get on your e karma system, mm -hmm. Cole's appearance will change. You'll get uh, specific versions of powers, like the different versions of the evil. There's so you get the idea. There's different versions of powers depending on your karmic state. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much it, and it also reacts to how people. Uh, react to you in the streets if you're evil they'll want to attack you but sometimes they'll actually help you out and fight a bunch of bad guys with you sometimes if you're a hero nice that's pretty cool anyway let's move on hey, Trish. oh i'm so glad you got the food down these poor people are starving just doing what i can someone had to help them those idiots dropped us canned prunes now who the hell want to eat this crap better than nothing <laughs> oh not this asshole oh i want to shoot at the tv <laughs> So they somehow got footage of us that yeah. we had the ray sphere, but we didn't mean to activate it, so Screw you. <laughs> we just helped these people. Ever been called a terrorist? All I would guess I've been running for my life. That video though. How'd I get that package? Why would I deliver a bomb? Who? Regardless, the consequences are everywhere. Whatever there'd been between Trish and me was gone. She didn't say a word. No emotion, nothing, just walked away. By then, people nearby were starting to recognize me. It was gonna get ugly. Even Zeke was giving me weird looks. He and I made quick plans to meet up at Stampton Bridge. Try to get out of town. Just hope he shows. It's right now. I'm a little short on friends. There's an electric pun in there, but I just don't know. <laughs> I'm running short on friends. Anyway, all right, so that's our uh, first mission. And obviously we make ourselves heroes, so we'll be making every heroic decision in the game. Like I said, if you want to see evil stuff, you can watch the other version of this Let's Play. But like I said, Brandon will not be in that, so you'll have one commentator instead of two. So, I actually want to show off this when they, when they attack you, what he says, look. Food, leave me alone. <laughs> if you're evil, he tells you, "Oh shit," because <laughs> you took the food from them. Mm -hmm. And he's like, "Oh crap!" Like he knows he deserves to get the crap beaten out of him. <laughs> I'm almost to the bridge. Since everyone here hates your guts, we gotta get out of town, pronto like. I'll meet you there. I know that feeling. Thanks for watching my back. Brandon is not a bad person. He only makes himself sound that way for your entertainment. <laughs> See ya. Well, you just ruined that now. <laughs> well, you never know who's watching this, so. True. What if little kids are watching? Or your boss for your future <laughs> job. Boss. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my boss watching. Our no, videos. no, they look stuff up that people are that their employees are involved in. So, you know. 
we're just a cup on this. We just act like a bunch of idiots. <laughs> mm -hmm. So don't worry about us. Anyway, alright, so that's a stunt. So when you get stunts are used for, like, when you do, like, certain actions, like, finish them off with just melee combat and, um, you know, doing certain stuff. Yeah. That's what a stunt is, so. Don't worry, stuff like that. Uh, we're about 20 minutes in, and I know this mission might take a bit longer, and I don't like so, to go only 25 minutes max, so let's get near this exclamation mark. And we'll call it a day. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we hope you have enjoyed the part one of the good walkthrough of the infamous playthrough. Uh, signing off, I am Sean. I'm Brandon. And we will see you later for part two of the infamous good playthrough. We'll see you later. See you later.